Welcome back. In this weekend's edition of David's Discovery, we're talking about safe ways you can view the eclipse that will be happening tomorrow. Right. So I know the cloud coverage forecast is not looking pretty optimal, but in case we get a clearing and you don't have those solar eclipse glasses mm -hmm. or someone you know is in a line of totality and yes. forgets them and they're at their house, you can make some eclipse viewers out of some good household items. Great. That deal with tinfoil. We have paper towel rolls back here. I'll get to in a second and some tape and some Cheez-It or some snack boxes or cereal boxes. Something here. to find around the house that will be easy to use. Yes, something to find around the house. DIY. Yes, we're doing some <laughs> DIY here. And what I did was that yesterday I ended up ended up um, cutting some paper and folding it along the bottom of the box. So mm -hmm. I made a basically a template for that and I put it inside the box and made it flush against the bottom there to have a backdrop for us. I then cut off some some holes around the top flaps of the box and made sure there's two gaps on the left side and then on the right here. Okay. So one's gonna be where you view the eclipse from, where you look in, and mm -hmm. the other one is where you'll put tin foil on the top, the right side of it, or the left, and then you'll poke a hole in it so that way you can have sunlight filter through there. I've heard some people call these almost your own little movie theater. And the, yeah. the backdrop is your screen. Yeah, the backdrop <laughs> will be the screen. You can see there how it works, even with the paper towel roll there, mm -hmm. that will continue to have that, you can see that eclipse when yes. it goes through there. So you'll, you'll be able to see as it's covering the sun, the right. moon as it's covering the sun through that through that man-made pinhole and that yeah. light that you made. So you have to turn away from the sun okay. and angle it at the right angle yes. for this to happen. So eclipses happen because, you know, there's three different types. So we'll have a total annular, total solar, total lunar eclipse. Where the one that we're gonna see is a total solar, and I think a lot of us know that moon has to make that perfect alignment between the sun and the earth, casting that shadow into on the earth for us. But when we have a total annular eclipse, it happens at apogee, or the farthest point away from the earth. And mm -hmm. that's why we see that ring of fire okay. back in 2023s in October is that annual eclipse. Okay. Now, a total lunar eclipse towards the bottom of our screen there, if you can see that, we, we have the moon pass behind the Earth, and the Earth's shadow casts a light onto the moon, turning it sometimes red, and that's from the Earth, or the sh shadow from the yes. Earth, refracting or bending those light rays from the sun. So it's been a while since we've seen a total solar eclipse. It's been, I think, since about 2017, I would say. Okay, and I've heard the next time we will see a total solar eclipse won't be until like 20. 42? I think around 20 to 2040, so it okay. goes from coast to coast. All right, well, yeah. thanks so much for sharing this with us. Yeah, for tomorrow's welcome. eclipse, a great safe way in case you don't have eclipse glasses.